you thrifty people out there, you look at my helmet, immediately you think 300, 400. This is uh, under $100 for the helmet and 20 bucks for the paint job. And uh, use stickers instead of paint because, uh, you know, that would have cost a bit more money. Again, CCM Bauer, waiting for the sponsorship. It's cool, it's fine. For those of you who remember Patrick Waugh, uh, this is a move inspired by him now. One time, I think it was in the playoffs, he went like this, puck is on the goal line, he went, hey! <laughs> I got it! I got it! But he left it there. He left it there. You shouldn't leave it there. So what you want to do is actually pick it up. And the... <sighs> Shit! <laughs> Alright, we rolling? We rolling here? Let's get it. So what you want to do is you actually want to pick the puck up. Alright. It's a tutorial, dude. <laughs> Cameraman, are you even paying attention? God, amateurs. Okay, so what you actually want to do is you want to pick it. All right, there's too much noise when I'm starting, man. What you want to do is you actually want to pick it up in the air. Listen, I'm trying to like do a tutorial. Can you stop messing around? Because like, I'm actually trying to help these kids out and you're making me look like a jackass. Well, maybe next time just, just pick up the fuck. Okay. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> I actually want to pick it up. So what Patrick Wad just didn't do is actually pick it up. So you want to just pick the puck up in the air and actually have it right in your glove, okay? Big save. Shit. All right, now this one's from my good buddy, Braden Holtby. Uh, during the uh, TV timeout or uh, a, a break in play, we're just gonna squirt the water up in the air and then track it with our eyes. So just give it a good squirt. All right, now we're ready. Guts, glory, ram, 1v1. How do we get there? It's all about the windmill glove save. A huge issue I see with goalies. They shoot in the glove. Dude, the camera's rolling. I told you before, smarten up. Guts, glory, ram. How do we get on the 1v1? It's all about the big glove save, okay? So once they shoot in the glove, this is the big problem. You guys just go like this. You're not gonna get on the highlight reels. You're not gonna get the ladies by just leaving your glove there. Okay, so once it hits your glove, even if your glove's just right here and it just goes straight in. Wow, nice shot, bud. Even if you leave your glove right here and it goes straight in, you still gotta go back, around, and I like to just go face all the way in. So, in there. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Mm. Alright, so we just talked about how to sell the glove save. Now, how do we get the shooters to shoot to the glove side? Again, if he shoots to the blocker side, right? Oh my god, dude. So if he shoots to the blocker side, oh my god. <laughs> nice muffin. If he shoots blocker side, one more time. That's his amateur hour. If he shoots blocker side, that's not getting on any highlight reels, boys. So stop playing you know, positionally sound in the middle and make sure the only option he has is glove. What kind of an idiot wouldn't shoot there? All right, and then he shoots glove. Oh, 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 oh crap. Oh. All right, so basic rule of thumb, we're starting here. We take one shuffle step, two shuffle steps. So basically, you're basically right in front of the blocker side post. All right, all right, so we're over here and then just on over to the, got a good shot, I guess. Yeah, just keep cheating blocker. Oh my God, dude. This guy's not being paid, is he? Hey, shooter, how many subscribers do you have? Yeah, so like it's about, oh! Just wanna make sure he has that, he sees the opening. Hey, shooter, must be hard to eat with no hands there, bud. Oh! All right, kids, next, it's a Dominic Hasek tutorial. One of the greatest goalies of all time, king of the flop. A lot of the times you'll see him like this, like this, like this, and sometimes like that. So, oh, oh. He take five. So first rule of playing like Dominic Cash because you want to totally disregard your stick. All right, we don't really, we don't really need it. Actually, you know what? Sometimes 
maybe we put it in the net if it goes under us. Maybe put it there. So the first rule of playing like Dominic Hatchik is you got to be comfortable in these positions like this. Okay, no matter where the, the puck comes, it hits you. You do some weird kind of movement. You don't even need to face the goalie. It's a tutorial! Just anything where you're flopping. Whoa. Look at this low blocker save. Boom! All right, the next tip, if the player's got a good scoring chance in front of you, what stops the play? The only thing that stops the play is the whistle. Bring one with you. If he sees you blowing it and the player or the referee figures it out, takes it off, now we don't have our whistle. Always carry a backup, people. He probably will realize, oh! All right, now last tip. Here we got our Sharpie with us. We make a, a nice, nice save. Whistle goes, pen out, sign it, give it to the player. There you go, bud. Oh. Thanks to everyone for tuning in to another How to Goalie video. I hope you learned a lot. Again, don't go to these goalie schools. It's a cash grab. All right? Just watch my videos and uh, just keep working hard out there. Big save.